This is our Deadpool Monopoly game. We're finally playing it tonight. I'm gonna read the back because it look, looks cool. And it has Deadpoolish stuff on it. So he says, When the regular edition isn't expensive enough. Alright folks, gather up some people you won't mind never speaking to again and get cheating. I mean, playing. Not everyone will win, but someone will definitely flip over the table, and that person also wins. You know it's special because it's shiny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those grimy little hands holding this box better be wearing gloves. This is the collector's edition. Don't you know what that means? I don't know what that means. Anyway, you should definitely buy three of these. One to play, one to give to a friend, and one to use as a pillow so I can be close to you while you sleep. <laughs> Brains. All right, so first we have What are these called? It's the old retro um, McDonald's Happy Meal box. Yeah, but it also is... Oh, Brass Knuckles. Brass Knuckles. Thank you. Believe in yourself, except when it's time to give up. On my way to a happy ending. Kindness is my favorite. Also, swords. Swords are also my favorite. Trust no one. I'm very in touch with my feminine side. Accept your limitations. The world's happiest mercenary. Next up. It's a box of band-aids. Not really. Designed to rip off maximum amounts of body hair. Heals wounds from adamantium blades, optic blasts, years of low self-esteem, hemorrhoids, raging hemorrhoids, questionably obtained techno-viruses, overly complicated 90s comic book origin. And last but not least, the chimichanga box. Packed full of juicy, chunky horse meat. Deadpool chimichanga. Veggies, cheese, another kind of cheese. Meat, more cheese, special sauce. Love. Use before your mama's birthday. Good source of gastroenteritis. Zero grams of giving up. Beep. Directions. Eat when you're so hungry you don't have the patience for it to cool down. Then take a bite and burn every inch of the roof of your mouth with cheese the temperature of lava. Guaranteed to send you running to a bathroom in 10 minutes or less. America's 458th favorite frozen fruit food. This is empty. We don't keep anything in it, but it's fun to have. I don't remember what came in it originally. I think it was the game board pieces. Next, we have the board. Psst. The super duper ultra rare special edition next year will glow in the dark and poop out X-Force branded jelly beans. the directions. Also filled with Deadpoolish things. Here's the board. It has cool bullet holes in it. Game night just isn't game night until somebody finds some of my brain matter in the nachos. Am I right? 
Shake those dice. Shake those dice like a lonely guy whose parents just left the house. Sorry. Has anyone ever met Mrs. Monopoly? I'm genuinely curious. And does she also have facial hair? So the game pieces are hard to see on a dartboard, but we have, hold please, That's, there it is, okay, we have a taco, we have his hand, or his glove, giving the okay sign, oddly. A chef's hat, and moped. And of course, a unicorn. I wish it wasn't black. There they are. These are the instructions. They are actually comic book style. Whoops, hold on. So that's fun. Ads in the back. X-ray glasses, only $89.99. But wait, there's more. So the back of it, when giving someone money, throw it at them and make them pick it up. It'll make you feel bigger than them. Make a little town using the houses, then add ants. You're now the mayor of your own little ant city. Do not try to ride the unicorn token. It's way too small, and you're way too big. Choose someone to be the evil heartless banker. Me! The evil heartless banker is in charge of kicking little old ladies out of their houses. JK, only in real life. Put the dice by the game board, not in the refrigerator or in your fanny pack, which is a common mistake. Fight over who gets to use the taco token. Then, each remaining player chooses a non-taco token, and everyone places their token on go. Since we're having for since we're having tacos for dinner, is that and I'm cooking? Does that mean I get the taco token? You can have the taco if you want. Okay. So, a couple of the new cards on here. Sweet Rides. When you land on a sweet ride that no one owns, you either buy it or auction it. They are the, um, like, the utilities of this Monopoly, for example. Our sweet rides are the Chimichanga truck, roller skates, the unicorn, or the pirate ship. And a couple of the cards that we get, a uh, cheap shot or low blow. A cheap shot, you take $100 from the player with the least amount of money besides yourself. And when you land on a low blow, you steal any mercenary or sweet ride from another player. That's my favorite thing to do. Put the amount of money listed on the space into the dead pool in the middle of the board. So when you land on free parking, you get the whole pool. I wish that was in every Monopoly. It's so fun to do. Hopefully I win. I've never won except when I play Princess Monopoly. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Pouch. Caleb's stepson from the future, who's actually the clone of Wolverine's piano teacher from another dimensional. Hold on. From another dimension. Gives you some money. Receive a hundred dollars. 
All right, so we have come to a conundrum. Talia has landed on, what was it? Stingray, right by your knee. Stingray for $220. Which I can afford. She could afford right now, but if she couldn't afford it, or if she was just shy of the money, the rules of Deadpool Monopoly go to auction, and auction bids start at $10. So what she would have bought for 220 myself or anyone else playing with us would have ended up buying it for 10 or more dollars. You never pay full price when you go to auction. At least... You shouldn't. You shouldn't. I didn't want to give it up, so that's how I end up losing, is that I don't want to give away the spaces for 10 bucks, lovey. No. Who ends up usually buying them for $10 because I can't afford it because I've already bought all my spaces that I land on. I like a good deal. Hmm. No fair. I'm... I'm, I have the most spaces so far, which means I'll probably lose in the end. But, hey. We finally have money in the pool. Whoever lands on free parking gets off the whole pool. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go to jail. Boo. I'm the first one in jail. So to get out of jail, I have to pay $50. Get an agile free card or roll a double. That rule doesn't change for this game. There you go. So Talia just landed on my pirate ship, which means she owes me money. 25 for each ride. Then she only owned one. There you go. I rolled four. One, two, three, four. Dumb luck. Break the wind and set sail. I meant catch. Catch the wind. Advance to the next sweet ride. If unowned, you may buy it from the bank. If owned, pay the owner twice the rental to which they are otherwise due. Aww. So typically these cards will either work really, really well in your favor or they'll just... This is terrible. Screw you over. Because Lovey owns the Timmy Chong truck. And I owe him double and he owns three sweet rides, which means... Lovey. I need 200 bucks. I'll take it. So since I just landed on, um, where is it, the parking lot? Or, uh, oh, yeah, free parking. Free parking. Excuse me. Since I landed on free parking, he collected I, the Deadpool. I get the whole Deadpool. Which I think was $350. $350. Good job, babe. Yay, pool stuff. If. I land on a space that Matt owns. If he doesn't ask me for the money, I don't have to pay for it. There you go. Hmm. Who won the game? You, again, always. Except when we play Princess Monopoly, somehow you lose. <laughs> I got a couple of packages. I'm going to open this giant one first. Because Amazon likes to put small things in big packages. They might surprise me. It might actually be something big. Oh, how fun. I wonder who it's from. Lovey. Guess what I got. Oceanopoly. Yes. That's fun. How fun. Let me see who it's from. from Janelle Horton. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've wanted this game since I've, um, when I first played it with Brianna and Justin, my sister and her husband. Hey, baby. Hmm. We have a game to play. Not tonight. Not tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Package number two. Boxes. It's a box in a box. Two boxes in a box. Should I see who they're from first? Yeah. Oh, same lady. I hope this wasn't my secret Santa stuff. Because I wanted to wait to open that. That makes sense. Time. But it's from the same person, so it might be. Make me 
cry. Why? It's a new controller for my uh -huh. PS3. And it's already blink. Oh my gosh. Janelle. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Pretty cool. I should probably open it now and not. So what is this? Like, I'm so happy with these two. It could be the PS5. Oh, I don't think so. It's not big enough. Good. What did you give me? Oh. Thank you. Really? Left-handed scissors. Thank you so much. I'm not sure which one of those packages is most useful. Oh? Or oh. is there more in there? Yes. But wait. There's more. I got three of them. Oh. They only have one left hand. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to find you and I'm going to give you a haircut? message. Hey baby, you want a haircut? No. No, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even tell you how happy I am to have this right now. Thank you. I'm about to open our new game. Something fishy about this game. Mm hmm This is actually unboxing because we haven't opened it yet. Should we look at the board first? Yeah. <clears throat> Go fish. Draw a card. Uh, sponge. Indian Ocean. School tax. Get it? School of fish. Oh. <laughs> Took me a second. Diving fee. Blue whale, seahorse, treasure chest. Manatee. Atlantic Ocean. Dolphin, sea turtle, penguin. Low tide. Swim to low tide. That sucks. <laughs> Feeding frenzy. Wonder. Collect two hundred dollars when you pass splash. <laughs> Puffer fish, angel fish, wave work, clownfish, Pacific Ocean, sea urchin. Are all the seas on there, or is it just a couple of them? Uh, one, two, three, four. Only four. Hmm. So we have Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Indian Ocean and Pacific. So the ones that we probably are more familiar with. Right. Lobster, crab, jellyfish, stingray, octopus, swordfish, barracuda, electric eel, and shark. Uh, this is money. One dollar. Hopefully it's not like a one meal monopoly Ooh, when they give you ten look, bucks. Let's look at the... <clears throat> A dice. Shark fin. Nice. Crab. Or is it a lobster? It's probably a crab. I think lobsters are larger. Oh, okay. Uh, sunfish. Oh, there's the lobster. Yes. Maybe lobsters have less legs. Seahorse. Oh, that one's cool. Is it okay? Much easier to see than the black. <laughs> On black. <laughs> and the starfish.
Oh, let me look at what we have for the, like, houses. And then I'll read the rules. <clears throat> oh, they're just a fish on a stand. Hold on. I can't hold it. There we go. Huh. Can you see that? Yeah. And then we just have little blue boxes for building. When landing on an unknown fish, the player has the option to purchase... Um... Oh. If you if you can't afford it or don't want to buy it, it goes to the highest bid starting at one dollar. So it's the same issue as Except Deadpool. That Deadpool says you have to start your bid at ten. Oh yeah. The the dollar values might be different for this game. <clears throat> it's one. <clears throat> oh that's cool. So for all the fish, they give you like a um fun fact. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Who are you? The crab. The crab. Or the lobster, whichever one it is. It's the lobster. The ocean is the world's smallest ocean. How did you get the world's biggest and largest? Because I know how to roll the dice. Rude. The Arctic is the world's smallest ocean at 5... Million four hundred and forty thousand square miles. We're still in the millions, and that's the smallest. <laughs> On average, the central surface of the Arctic Ocean is covered with ice ten to fourteen fit, feet thick. That's where Karen and Nate was when we discovered oh, right. them. Yes, they dove in. The ocean's greatest depth is seventeen thousand eight hundred and eighty feet, just north of the Bering Strait. Most urchins look like pin cushions with the pointed end of the needle sticking out. The spikes serve to protect. We know. Yeah, you want to talk about sea urchins? No. Okay. Urchins are mainly shallow water, bottom dwelling creatures that graze on grasses, algae, and any loose organic matter. Some predators, like the queen triggerfish, have become adept at grabbing at a spine and flipping the urchin over. To, to expose the protected underside and eat it. Hmm. Moving on. Moving on. I bought it because on our honeymoon, I stepped on one or two or three. And we'll keep that story at that. Or four. <laughs> that was actually history time. That was the first argument as a married couple we had was yes. about going to the place that she stepped on that sea urchin. Or so pro tip don't leave the tourist group <laughs> guess who won the game I didn't lose I, I lost but I don't know who won I won I won Bobby yeah. lost uh -huh. he's good about to be bankrupt he chose not to bankrupt himself and forfeit the game yeah so the game was fun. Very. Especially since I won. I think what was cool about it is that it gave you so much information in the actual game. Every time you landed on something you could buy, you learned something about that animal. Yep. And they even put the electric eel in here. And then they put like a, we know it doesn't live in the ocean, but we couldn't resist. Break the fourth wall. Right. It was so fun. But I would definitely recommend it for like, kids and families yeah it's just a cool way to learn about the ocean and about sea life and do it in a way that's more fun than just watching discovery channel if you want to make a lot of money fast get all the oceans that and just be prepared to spend a lot of money because i feel like this is like the most expensive like game of monopoly you'll ever spend i agree like you so spend the... so much money on properties or animals the most expensive is the blue whale and it's 425 dollars to buy yeah. so there was a lot of auctioning in this game which adds to the strategy of the game like how you spend and what like you can really get yourself ahead or really screw someone over if you check the price up i tried to get matt to lose by racking up the 
the bid price. price so that he only had a couple dollars left. Oh, well, I didn't manage my money as well as I usually do. Usually do. And I also didn't have the benefit. Like, the added auction strategy threw me off, so I didn't take that into consideration. I didn't buy, like, a, as fast as I should have, so it's just, like... I got, like, three different fish for a buck. Thanks yeah. to Lovey. Thanks to my laziness and not wanting to spend money to do math. But <laughs> if you want a fun game that requires a little bit of strategies, like, it'd be definitely great for kids, but also at the same time, too, it'd be great to just play with some friends because you actually have to really think it's more strat it's more strategic than your average monopoly i feel like but... yeah because of the cost of everything so it's definitely like more mentally taxing if you let it it so... was fun thanks for playing with yeah, me it's a lot of fun five out of five stars <laughs>
be continued. Probably a sensor for Notion. Oh, okay. Maybe. I remember when they used to be like super long when they had it for the Wii. Right. I think they finally figured out a way to condense it down. Nice. What's that? And we're not done. The dock. Oh, to charge the pieces? No, it's actually the. Um, I can get it out of here. It's where the actual console sits when it's being used um, on the TV. Oh, okay. It's because I have the option of playing it handheld uh -huh. or having it connect to the TV. <laughs> okay, that's cool. The controller setup for when I want to use it for. Like the Zelda. TV? Yeah, when I want, well, when I want to use it as a full controller. Oh, okay. When I'm using it for the TV. Uh-huh. One last thing. Another sensor. Where's the game that comes with it? It's probably in that paperwork. It's in a, it's a digital copy. Oh, okay. And that's a wrap. Prize jewel without completely ripping apart. You might have to. But I have to. No, oh. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Colorful. The pink one's mine. Pink one's yours? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's about as big as a, um, it's actually smaller than a Kindle. I would say so. Yep. Cool. Full review to come soon.